pathophysiology of obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, so this is where we're looking at. Now, this individual is supine, sleeping on their back, error. Um, but what we're looking at here is the, the body of the tongue falling back and occluding the airway with the uvula and the soft palate. You know, it's the epiglottis is in there as well. So this is the, the, the normal side. And over this side, it's fallen back. Um, yeah, it's quite simple. It occludes the airway, or at least it restricts it such that it causes an arousal. Now, this is quite an archaic thing, and it's subjective and error prone. But in essence, can you see past the uvula? So it's very subjective, but it's sort of inter individual. Um, situation but class one class two class three class four as you can see across the scale so class one yep you can see past it you may notice um even in class one and class two individuals if they're a snorer then the uvula can become quite red and inflamed um, but over time it's possible that it elongates because it's it's, it's full of edema uh, um, and you can't see past it so this is a, a picture of a normal airway, lovely, it's not red, it's not angry, it's not inflamed, and you can, as I say, you can see past the uvula. This is not a good example of an obstructive airway. We have um, an elongated uvula, um, well, it's impossible, you think, oh, how can this patient even breathe?